Yo guys, welcome back to brand new PDCGO Darkness of Blaze video. Today guys, we're going into the new standard format. Team up and on, and the first deck we're going to play is going to be a Spike Mouth Spirit Team deck. And I actually built this on stream yesterday, and speaking of my live stream, I got to thank you guys for all of the support on, well, my live stream the other day, on the POG Championships playing my Decidueye Italian deck. It was an insanely successful stream, we had like almost nearly 300 viewers, um, the chat was really awesome. It was just an awesome time. It was a six hour stream. It was a fun, fun time. So I got to thank you guys for all the support on that live stream and everything. It's just insane how things went. So I got to thank you guys for that. We ended up building this deck on stream here, the Spike Mouth Spirit Tomb deck. Now, the whole idea of the deck is we're going to try to build up Spirit Tomb's damage output with Spike Mouth Stadium and using Spike Mouth in combination with cards like Hide, Energy, Bird Keeper, Switch. And that's the whole strategy of the deck is get Tomb going with those cards. And uh, it's actually not too bad. Of course, Tomb also has Cape of Toughness, which gives it um, a lot more HP. So now Spirit Tomb, it can build more Spite because of the t Cape of Toughness, and it can take one shot slot easier. So before the video, guys, course, shout out to our sponsor, Car and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. If you guys are still looking for Darks and Blaze codes, make sure to get my Car Cabin. Uh, Car Cabin is selling Darkness of Blaze codes for the cheapest on the market. So if you guys are trying to get any Darkness of Blaze codes, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. Of course, if you have any codes or cards you don't need, you can trade them into Car Cabin also, and they'll give you some cash and extra credit for any unused codes or cards. Um, you can check out their buy list to see what is what. You can make some money that way. So yeah, check out Car Cabin if you're looking to get rid of anything and get any codes. If you get any codes though, make sure you use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. It greatly supports the channel, helps yourself out, and helps out Car Cabin in the process too. So shout out to Car Cabin guys check them out and use code LDF so let's take a look at the spirit tomb list so we built this on stream and uh, recorded this video the deck's actually pretty good honestly though you know, really all I really want to do with the deck is maybe play an eighth energy I think seven energy is a little too low I think we do want to play eight energy in here um, you'll see in the last game what I mean why we might need eight energy but other than that uh, the deck is actually pretty cool um, again, Spirit Tomb Spike Mouth is pretty good. Spike Mouth, when you put in play, whenever a player's active Pokemon moves from the active, you put two damage on that Pokemon that moved. So having Spirit Tomb take two damage counters, three damage counters build Spite is really good. Um, we also have Jinx, don't forget, too. Um, we can also use Bird Keeper with Rowlet. Rowlet's actually pretty low-key busted in here. Uh, both Rowlet and Hoopa are really good backup attackers. Hoopa can soften something up so that Spirit Tomb um, can knock it out. You can also use it to knock out low HP Pokemon like Jirachi and stuff. Um, and, or you can use Rowlet to snipe something on the bench and then finish off with Spirit Tomb later on down the road. So there's a lot of little combos you can do here with our uh, mainly just three attackers. Uh, some other stuff in the deck, of course, we got the three support Pokemon, the Dedenne, the Crobat, the Oricorio. Um, obviously, you know, this deck might lose to ADP if they get a quick altercation off. Um, but having these three is really important to have for draw support. I am playing for Jirachi. We have eight switching cards. Playing Jirachi is a no-brainer. We got two Jinx in the deck. I am playing a Marshadow uh, because this deck, you know, needs Spike Mouth to function. So having Marshadow to counter Chaotic Swell is very crucial. Um, that's it for the Pokemon. No other Pokemon in here. Just four Tombs, one Rowlet, two Hoopa. Pretty straightforward list. And honestly, you can win with just these attackers. Spirit Tomb does all the heavy lifting. And you have a few, like sniping finishing off options uh, i am playing a lot of ball surgery cards you know a lot of tomb lists are playing great ball you know we got calm four quick balls i am playing a split of a lana's fishing rod and an ordinary rod i like the lana's rod because it gets you back a spirit tomb and a cape of toughness especially if you know you're up against tool scrapper just getting you back your tools is really good got um four switch again great card for bird keeper one black market and four spike mouth we have five stadiums very easy to get a late game black market to stick um which sometimes gives you the auto win um we got a pretty simple supporter count here. I'm playing four Marnie, four Bird Keeper for my draw engine, along with the Oracorio Corbettadene. I got two boss, one Nanu. This was also suggested on stream. I'm not too sure how I really feel about it, but ideally, you can use Nanu to take, you know, revive a tomb or a Hoopa and take out a Dedene or a Crobat off the board so they don't get knocked out. We got one Piers in the deck too, to just get a spirit tomb and a high energy. It's just a free way to get an energy. It's a, honestly a pretty good card. Uh, can I get Crobat too? We got four Cape of Toughness for Tomb, four Hiding, Hide Energy once again with Spike Mouth. You start with Spirit Tomb, Hide Energy, Spike Mouth, Retreat the Tomb, take two damage counters. Um, and then we got three Darks. Uh, really, if I were making changes, I probably just want to play eight Energy, maybe even nine Energy, just play more Energy. Again, Spirit Tomb did lose both Hustle Belt and also Rainbow Energy, but again, with Spike Mouth, it's still pretty decent. It's fine, so let's go try it out. All right, guys, getting into our first game here with our Spike Mouth Spirit Tomb post rotation build. And uh, we'll see how we can do and if this deck is good enough. 
to win. All right, let's go for Tails here. We do not win the coin flip. Usually, I, I mean, I would assume you want to go first this deck out here. They're going to let us go first anyways. Okay. I mean... Probably have to just go Crobat here, I would assume. We'll start with Rowlet, I think. Maybe, nah, maybe we should start with two, or... Yeah, we should have started with Marsh Adam. I'm not guaranteed the Bird Keeper. We can't even attack. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're playing against Egg Row. They're probably playing a post-rotation build. That's one of the only issues with trying to record the post-rotation matches now, um, is there's still people who are going to be playing the pre-rotation decks, which makes it very hard to do this. I anyway, draw a card. Marnie. Another Marnie. Okay, well. Here's what we'll do. Um, get rid of a Marnie. I guess or a Corio could have went too, but I think we're just gonna get a bunch of damage on Spirit this turn. We can bench the tomb, building spite to it. Could put the hiding dark energy on it. Spike mouth. We'll switch. Take 20 damage. Oh, I guess we could have. No, you know what? No, we should have done the spike mouth earlier. That's definitely a misplay. I should have done the, uh... I should have played the Spike Mouth after I benched this. Because now he can knock me out. No, I can't. Never mind. Okay, whatever. We're safe. Um... It's gonna pass. I don't think he can knock out my Rowlet here. And we've already got a bunch of damage on Tomb. Just like that, turn one, 30 damage on Spirit Tomb. And now we just have to, um, see if we can get a knockout here. It does suck we didn't get any more Spirit Tombs last turn. It would have been ideal to maybe get a couple more Spirit Tombs here. Can't do anything really about it though. Um, we'll see. Yeah, they got Egg Row though. I mean, it's, it's definitely gonna be a harder matchup to win for sure. The Rillabooms might be tough, but we can definitely deal with the Egg Row. Not getting any more tombs though isn't ideal for us. Okay, there's a Quick Ball. Probably gonna get him Rookie. If we had a boss in our hand, that'd be nice. I mean, we can use Wind Shard. If we can have, like, we could Bird Keeper Wind Shard hit this for 60 next turn, and then it has 210 HP. The easier knock on the English Cry. We'll see. I think we really need to get more Spirit Tombs down this turn. That's, like, our goal. All right, he takes 20 damage. That's actually pretty good. Any Super Girls? All right, we do have the Marnie him, which, I mean, he had a tag call. He had, like, yeah, he had so much, yeah, he had way more outs. He could have just tag called for, like, kids. this. Like, I think I'm always going to Marnie him here, no matter what. No matter what the cost. Okay, what do we draw? Alright, we drew the Bird Keeper. So we can do Wind Shard this turn if we want. But... I think it's more important to just get more Spear Tombs in play. Because we need... Or maybe I do just do Bird Keeper into Tomb. No, we knock ourselves out if we uh, go into the Rowlet play. Hmm. No, I think we just Marnie. I think we just got a Marnie here and hope for the best. Okay. Uh, great ball for Spirit Tomb. Please and thank you. No. Crobat. I really want to get a Cape of Toughness too. That's something I'm also looking for here. Alright, what's not the building spite? Hmm. I think just pass. No, I wouldn't mind attacking with Spirit Tomb this turn. Even just a two-shot this thing. I don't think it's a bad idea to try to two-shot the Egg Row. I mean, there's a chance this guy has a boss and a Grass Energy in his hand. Um... But then we can try to go for the knockout next turn, which I kind of feel like doing. Because right now we're only doing 130 damage. And then we do 160, 190, 220. I mean, that's not enough to knock it out. All right, let's just try to maybe get the switch or something. All right, we got it. We do have to take more damage on our Rowlet here. We need to get a Jinx in play, um, which is in our hand. 
I guess we could get rid of our spike mouth here, but that seems kind of silly. I think we're just gonna we're gonna swing into this. Try to two-shot if we can. He is gonna heal 30 damage though. But we have Jinx, Building Spikes, Bird Keeper, Spike Mouth. Should be okay. We should be okay. We need to just keep up the tomb pressure though. We need to keep the tomb pressure alive. Maybe I shouldn't have benched the Oracorio. I'd actually really like to play this Mars Shadow to get it off my board, because it's actually kind of hurting me. I mean, the Oracorio wasn't a terrible idea to bench it, though. It's not like the worst thing ever. Hmm. Okay. There's a cape. I don't think we need that right now, though. Play this. Just get the Spirit Tomb back in the deck. We didn't even put a cape on it, so it doesn't matter. Um, what am I doing? Think we, what, we bird, we're definitely doing Bird Keeper. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to Bird Keeper into the Marsh Shadow, so I don't, um, so I don't. Like, you know, I can't go Rowlet. I have to go Marsh Shadow here. Okay. 170 damage. We're 10 damage short on knocking him out, I think. Yeah, we're 10 damage off. Um, oh, wow, that's bad. We have to try to get another Jinx, then, I think, to knock him out here. We need to try to get another Jinx. If we get if we get another Jinx, we can take a KO. It's not looking good so far though, folks. Jinx? No! <sighs> Didn't get the Jinx. Swear I wish I had to scoop up net. Rip in the chat. We're not gonna be able to take a knockout here. We're 10 damage short. I mean, I guess we could still fish him out with Hoopa, which I guess has to be the play, but that sucks. That sucks. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Dang it. 10 damage off. You hate to see it. This is where maybe we could play like a Zigzagoon. I don't know. We just got lucky we didn't find our Jinx there. It would have been nice to be able to go Jinx. We can knock him out with Hoopa, which... Will have to be the play, but I don't know if we can even go Hoopa here. Maybe this guy will be generous and he'll just knock out or Corio or Crobat with a boss's order. That's what I would probably prefer. And I actually don't mind him building up another Egg Row. I mean, our recognition can be knock out two Egg Because I actually don't think we can take out Egg Row, Rillaboom, and I don't. You're not going to be able to win the game. Have trying to take out three, three prizes. We just got to try to kill with Hoopa here. Which I don't know if we can. If we honestly can. Well, see we draw. Spirit Tomb. Honestly, we should have done the we should have played the March out of last turn. Okay, see we get something good here. Okay, well. I just got to take a knockout here, I think, with uh with Hoopa. With the hoopster. It's gonna have to be it, but I don't like it as much as you, but I got to do it. Alright. Um, Bird Keeper. I think now we'll just play Reset and Hold just to get this thing off the board so we can put the other Spirit Tomb in play. We should have brought in Jinx though, actually. I could have put more damage on if I brought in Jinx. That was definitely a misplay. Uh, we could put the Cape on and then we can make him do Tropical Hour GX. I don't mind that. Seems kind of, seems kind of cool. Uh -huh. Start thinning a little bit. We have way too many drops in our hand. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take an assault key. We could put the black market in play. He hasn't played a single stadium yet. I don't know. Should we just put black market in play and make it so he can't take a prize? I think that would actually really help us if he doesn't take a prize here. Make him do tropical hour, waste your tech, and not to get a prize. That actually seems pretty good. That actually seems a that, that actually seems decent, but then I can't use the spike mouth the next turn, which I'd need. 
Hmm. We could do the spike mount now and then bump it black market later, I guess. We'll just have to put spike mount in play. I don't want to waste my black market just yet. We, we'll have to get rid of it next turn anyways, because we have to do the spike mount spirit tomb combo. Okay, more kind of junk. Okay, more junk. I don't need all these capes, unfortunately. Not anymore. Not in this day and age. Alright, we'll see what happens here. Again, we're making them have to do their GX stack, which is pretty good. And best case scenario, too, maybe they are nice enough to put the energy back in my deck, because we are running out of energy here. We don't have as Well, we still have a few left, I guess. But it's still, like, not ideal. Um, but all we really have to do is just knock out this aggro and we win the game. Which, honestly, shouldn't be too hard to do, as long as things go well. As long as things go well. If only this deck had rainbow energy. This deck would be pretty busted if it had rainbow energy, though, but it doesn't. Um, we'll see. Knocking this thing out might not be too hard. We still have black market. They still have to take three prizes. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see. We'll see. As long as we just don't whiff our bosses at any point, we should be okay to win this. They haven't played a single supporter all game. There we go. They finally play one. So research two, which is actually pretty bad. I guess I would have been better than Marnie. I would not have wanted to be Marnie here. Yep, there's the counter stadium. That's actually good that that is what they're doing now, so they don't heal 90 damage. And we can put the... Uh, I guess we want another follow-up spike mount, though. Hmm. This is only bench, right? Yeah. Hmm. We're weak to grass, bro. Hoopa. Oh, no. I completely forgot Hoopa's weak to grass. Oh, my God. Okay. Silly me. Silly, silly me. I forgot Hoopa was weak to grass. <laughs> ah, rip. I, maybe we still attack with Hoopa. Um, ooh, that was a good top deck. We can actually life force our Rowlet here. Which is kind of hilarious. I mean, we want to life force the Rowlet for no reason. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we do life force or not. Okay, how am I doing this? How am I doing this? Okay. Well, starts, we're going to put a cape here. Do I want to just go Hoopa and hit for 90 and then just try to build up a Spirit Tomb with damage on? I think I kind of do. Low key. Okay, let's see if we can get a, another Spike Mouth here. Should have played Quick Ball. Yeah, we didn't get a Spike Mouth. Well, I guess we swing with Hoopa and pray my opponent doesn't, um, and pray they don't, like, body me here. I guess, no, she got Jirachi. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, Bird Keeper into Hoopa and hope, uh, we can KO him next turn. Yeah, that has to be the play. They're probably going to bump that with a turf field, but if that can stick, that would be really nice. And we can win next turn. We Well, we didn't get a boss off that or choreo. Alright, well. We can put a, we can do this. We can put the tomb back in the deck. In case of a Marnie. Okay, well. Um, it's going to have to be it. Just hit him for 60 damage and hope we can kill him next turn. I mean, if he has a boss and he bumps the stadium, I think this might be just game over. This probably is game over if they just have boss and stadium bump. We'll see. Well, they could retreat. Then we have to find boss's order ourselves. We do have to Dene and nine cards. So it's definitely either we prize our last two bosses. Oh, they're going to Marnie us? Well, that works too to find the boss's order. I kind of oh, should be fine. There we go. There's the boss. And there's a spike mouth. There's a quick ball for to Dene. Okay, I think we got him here. I think we got him. I think we got him. We'll see. Netball. I think it's really, really good they wasted their life force now. I don't think we'd be able to win the game if they didn't waste their life force this early. It's actually really good. Really, really good. If they, yeah, if they life force this turn, we would have had to have, you know, back to square one in damage output. So it's really good that they did that. And they did just mind themselves. And uh, they haven't played a turf field yet. So I don't know if they have a turf field stadium or not to... Uh, on my black market so they might not even get a prize on my hoopa which is huge if they don't take a prize here they don't take a prize all right we don't even need the boss either we do need how much hp 170 210 
Holy cow. We still need a lot of damage, though. We still need a lot of things to go our way here. But I think we do have it. I'm pretty sure we have game here. Like, I'm not going insane, right? Uh, quick ball, Dedene. Quick ball to Denny. We just need like a bird keep. Yeah, we have game. I'm pretty sure we can see most of our deck anyways. Two switch. Well, that'll do it. That's game. Double switch will probably let us hit the numbers we need. So we're going to go spite. Right. Switch. Oh, we can retreat. We can retreat into the Jinx. We could literally do a- we could do a double switch. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. I was gonna say. We could have done a double switch. If we had a bird keeper, I think we would have been able to do a double switch play here. Good ominous posture. Anger's cry for game. Just like that. Spirit Tomb wins the game, and there you go. Pretty bad prizes. Boss, Jinx, and Spike Melt. Those are all really good cards. That was a pretty good win. I definitely think I could have probably played the game a little bit better there. Uh, to be honest, the Jirachis were not doing anything for us. Uh, but really, once we kind of just had the Oracorio set up, we were literally just in cruise control. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about the Jirachis, though. We didn't even we didn't use a single one that entire game, so I'm like 50-50 if they're really needed. But I think they're still important to have anyways. If you're playing, if you have like eight Switch cards, you might as well play a Jirachi. There's no reason not to. The deck played pretty well there, though. That was a pretty good match. All right, guys, getting into another match with our Spike Mouth Spear Tomb deck here. We're up against Kid with a Metal deck. It's probably going to be a Zacian deck. Ooh, wow, that's, uh, that's a nice hand. Three Bird Keepers. I don't think we're going to run into any uh, post-rotation decks, though. There's not going to be anyone playing post-rotation. Like, nobody is playing it. So we're probably going to just run into pre-rotation decks. It's not a big deal, though. I mean, we beat a pre-rotation deck, so I'm chilling. Ooh. We actually have a pretty good start. Double Spear Tomb. You'll love to see it. This hand is good. Now, I maybe could have started with Tomb on the off chance I get a Spike Mouth top deck. I could have maybe have Crobatted to dig for Spike Mouth, and then, you know, Bird Keeper the Tomb. I don't think it matters. Ooh, they could Fion me, though. I mean, if they if they do hit me with a Fion here, we could go the active, find Hide Energy, Spike Mouth, get two damage on it. We'll see what they are playing, though. This could be ADP, which is probably, I mean, it's ADP at the end of the day. I don't think we can beat an ADP Z deck. I think that might be our worst matchup. It's an ADP deck. Okay, well, we've hit our worst matchup. Probably is our worst matchup. I don't see how we can stop Alter Creation. Um, we, yeah, this matchup's pretty bad. <laughs> they put a cape on their ADP, bro. What are you doing? I guess, like, our only win con is to hope that Black Market sticks, and we then have to also avoid benching our Crobat, and maybe we can win the game. Because if I bench Crobat or Cory or Dene, it's, like, three easy prizes. It's, like, it's, it's ADP, bro. It's, like... It's it's brainless. They just all they just ultimate rate two of your bench sitters and they win the game. Who they don't need to knock out your active. They just knock out what's on your bench because that's how that's clearly how the game Pokemon TCG was designed for. Clearly that's why this card does definitely not need a ban or anything. Definitely doesn't need to be taken out of the format. I was actually gonna upload a video the other day, um, doing a bit of a discussiony type of video about ADP being banned. I decided not to upload it because I was like, well maybe it'll flop at Pog. Who knows? Um, I don't know. Personally, I do believe ADP is a little a little stupid. Probably does need to be taken out of the format. Oh, they have the Fion. Okay. I forgot they could do that. I mean, yeah, their start is just insane. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. And they get two energy on their Zacian. Oh my god. Um, ooh, well, there's the Hyden energy. I think we might actually have to do the Crobat. I mean, if we can swing here with um with spirit tomb i'm feeling good if we can two shot this i think we'll be okay uh and i mean there's a you know there's there's a reality where they might whiff the uh the alter creation this turn too right oh we didn't get the spike note we have no way to find it i don't think either unless we go dead a change hmm I don't know if I'm trying to do a change. I mean, we have to attack them. 
Oh, no, we can't do it. We didn't even get a thing. What am I saying? We can't do data change. I mean, we can hit them for 70 damage, leave them with 210 HP. I don't know how we're going to be able to do 220 damage the following turn, though. I think we're going to play Piers. I guess we're just going to go for it, I guess. I don't know. Probably could have thought that through a little bit better, to be honest. I guess we are just going to hit it for 70 here. I mean, they could knock me out with Zacian, I guess, but we'll see. That was a pretty bad whiff. Plus, we had to bench our Crobat, too, which allows ADP to just knock it out and take three prizes. Not looking good. We can still knock them out. I mean, if they're not knocking out my Spirit Tomb, which apparently they're not doing because they just put a Metal Energy on. Okay, they got Crushing Hammer. This is a weird ADP deck. I mean, they can still knock me out with Zacian, I guess. But I don't know. I guess eh, they whipped the Alter Creation. I'm feeling a little bit better now. You know, kind of takes out the salt of the wound of having to bench this Crobat. But I'm pretty confident they're just going to knock me out here with Zacian, which is not good because we're not going to be able to respond with a knockout of our own. Um, and they get heads on. Actually, it doesn't really matter if they get heads on Christian Hammer. I don't really care. We're, we're a one energy deck. It doesn't doesn't matter if they hit heads on Hammer. So, we're not going to go Christian Hammer this match. The only thing I'm more scared of is them attackmization. If they do attackmization here, I mean, they're not taking the extra prize, which is really good, but it's still going to be kind of awkward for us, I think. But, it is possible to knock them out here if we can find like a spike mouth off our top deck. Yeah, they don't have... They, why wouldn't they do Intrepid Sword? There's the Spike Mouth. Okay, we actually did draw it. Wow. Okay, so we're in a really good spot. So we can retreat into Jirachi. Stellar Wish. I think we just want to knock out the ADP. I'm going to take the cake. I think we got him, too. I think we got my opponent. That's good. That was a big top deck. I actually didn't... Expect did not expect to draw the uh, thing there. I think we got him. We're definitely yeah. We're doing two twenty this turn. We got him. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure. Are we? We can do one jinx. Oh, there's all my other capes. Sixty. Yeah, it's a knockout. Two twenty. No, we're short. One ninety. I. Oh no. Hmm, there's no other way to get damage on board, unfortunately. Did I not do Stellar Wish? Why do I feel like I forgot to do Stellar Wish? I think I did. Oh, no. I might have... Well, I don't think I threw the game, obviously, but... Ooh, maybe we should have done Stellar Wish. Did I forget to do Stellar Wish? Why do I have a feeling I forgot to do Stellar Wish? Okay, Marnie. That's fine. Actually, that hand was pretty bad, too, so I actually don't mind this. This is a bit better. Did I forget to do Stellar Wish? Why do I have the feeling I forgot to do Stellar Wish there? Oh, I can't I can't see my video file, lol. Okay, I don't know if I did Stellar Wish or not. I totally forgot. Okay, they're just gonna AC. Okay, that's fine. That's actually, that's perfect. So we get, we get more, we can actually, there's so much we can do here. We can Building Spy multiple times. We can Jinx a damage off of Spear Tomb because it doesn't matter, because we're gonna get knocked out. Um, Hope they don't have a tool scrapper. That's another reason why we can move the damage off. They could tool scrapper knock me out, and then they could take another prize. So they could take three prizes if they did that. We could bird keeper. I think we want to save the bird keeper for next turn. I think we're just gonna settle with an anguish cry. We're gonna take the knockout on the ADP. Okay. I may have forgotten to do stellar wish. I don't know if that would have made a difference though, because we still whipped the switch, but I guess it would have shuffled the deck. So maybe we could have knocked the ADP out a turn earlier. If we did Stellar Wish. Why do I have the feeling I forgot? I think I honestly forgot to do Stellar Wish there. I feel like my brain is melting. But I just can't remember doing Stellar Wish. I'm not going to sit on it though. But I think, I mean, we're still fine, I guess. Like, the Crobat being a pretty bad. But they can't just go Tomb Crobat win the game. I think we can win this. If we can maybe get Black Market to stick too. That could be pretty good. The only thing we're missing right now though. Is we don't have an energy for Spirit Tomb. Uh, which is bad, but we should be able to knock out the Zacian here. I mean, they got 220 HP. They could get a, well, I guess they get, if they get a frying pan on, we're probably in trouble. Uh, let's see if they have a Marnie. Let's see if they have a Marnie. Primate Wisdom. I think we have to go Oracorio this turn, too. Because I really need, we need to get energy this turn. I don't really want a Dede change this hand away. Quick Ball, are they, are they going to go for another Dedene? We could maybe win by double boss, boss, boss. Hmm. 
I think really the only reason why we're in a decent spot right now is because my opponent didn't get an ultra creation off as quick as they wanted to. I think that's what's kind of helping us right now. Tina. This is a weird ADP deck. Is this pre-rotation? This might actually be post-rotation. I think it is. They haven't played a single card yet that's not rotating. Yeah, I think they're playing a post-rotation deck. Maybe that's why they're playing the Hammers and the Tina, because they're trying to play like a, a more like kind of controly build of ADP. What are we drawing? Not an energy. We really need energy here, like ASAP. I think we, we'll probably have to do our choreo. Yeah, this is two bird keeper into Drachi. Come on, give me an energy here one time. No, that's not energy. Hmm. They have a two-card hand. It's not likely they'll get another thing off next turn, which is good, I guess, but... I'm not liking the no energy here, folks. It's not good. This is very much not good. We could just do Rowlet, I guess. But I wanna, we need to knock out the Zacian. If we were taking a prize with Rowlet, I would've done it. We'll take the boss, actually, in case we can maybe trap something in the active spot. I'm just gonna do this, I don't even care. Five energy in the deck. All right, here we go. Oracoyo hope to hit an energy, I guess. This is our last ditch effort. We whip an energy. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me with the energy. That's not good. That's really not good. Whiffing the energy is just bad. Really, really bad. Well. The only thing we can do now is hope that they do not knock out my Jirachi. Oh man, things were looking so good for us too because they didn't get the altercation off as quick and... Oh, we just had to whiff an energy there. Nothing I can do about that. I mean, they have a two-card hand. There's Well, they have an Oranguru, but there's a good chance they don't attack me this turn. I guess we just got to hope they don't attack me. They haven't played a single switch. Oh, they played two switch. Okay, maybe if they don't take a knockout this turn, I think we'll be, we'll be good. Assuming we can still not whiff another energy, but we should be fine. Oh, they got the attack off, bro. We lose. We lost because I got the energy. Oh, dang it, bro. There's the energy. We would have... Oh, we would have seen it last. Ah. Oh, we would have found the energy, but it's too late. They got a knockout. Unless, for some reason, they just don't retreat, which is obviously not going to happen. There's no way we can win now. Well, no. We could... I guess... No, we got black market still. We can still try to stick a black market and hope they don't have a boss, which is unlikely because I haven't played a single boss yet. And we have a great catcher target in play, so... I mean, we. I guess we'll have to just try to black market. Oh, they're gonna great catcher me now. Okay. I guess that changes everything a little bit. That still also means we don't have nature tribute, but that's fine. And they have to retreat all the energy. Oh, okay. Maybe we're not actually in a bad spot after all. We need black market to stick. We need to find a black market this turn though if we're gonna win this. So, so that's gonna have to be what happens. We have to bring in Jirachi. If we whiff a switch, so be it. We could rod the Oracorio back in the deck. This gives us an Oric. Yeah, this gives us an out to Oracorio. We actually should play it to shuffle the deck too, because we know that we know that our uh, black market is at the bottom of the deck. So I think we just do that. We got a Marnie. Hope to get the best. We still have the Denny and stuff. Hopefully, we can get the black market here. Didn't get it. Uh, this hand sucks too. We just got a switch. I mean, we could still knock him out. I mean, there's still a good chance they don't get a KO here, obviously. What can I do? I think we just do this. Hope for the best. Ah, oh, we got it. All right, nice. We got it. All right, cool. We do have a chance after all. Um, switch into the tomb. 
Keep some more damage in play. Put seven here so we can do 220. Put the black market. Hope it sticks. Hope they don't have a boss and a way to attack me. That's a knockout, right? 220 damage. You knocked out that egg grouse. This is definitely a knockout. Okay. All right. We have a black market in play. They have a four card hand after a Marnie. They have a Zacian that can't be powered up. How many saucers are they down? Maybe that'll help us decide. They're down three saucer. Okay, I think we're in a good spot. And um, the only way they can attack me is with like Jirachi. I mean, they could still win by attacking with Jirachi. Or getting heads on that so I can't attack them. Okay, we have a Jirachi though, it's fine. We have a Stellar Wish. Okay, this is not over yet. The Black Market is no longer in effect anymore because the Hammerheads... I guess I forgot about Crush Hammer, but then they also they get heads on it, which of course they did because... I don't know. Well, it's still unlikely they attack Zacian here. They need a, quite a bit of cards. They need a Saucer. They have one left in the deck. They have. They need a Metal Energy. They're down eight. Or they're down a lot of energy here. Well played. Is this game? Hmm. We'll see. I think they were playing a post rotation deck. Looking at their deck list here, they didn't have any cards that were from the old format. Boss to Crobat. Okay. We have to switch. Okay, so we just need to get an energy here. We win. We just need to get an energy here to win the game. Can we find one? A Marnie? Alright, we well, just got the Marnie here, I guess. Oh, but we need the we need the bird keeper to switch into the spirit tomb. I mean they still didn't get an energy. Wait, did they not do Trapper Sword last turn? I don't think they did. Might they just do Bird Keeper? Because if we Marnie, we need yeah, I think we gotta go Bird Keeper because we've already switched. We can't retreat. I think we just go Bird Keeper. Bring in the other tomb with a less HP. Got the Orcorio. We can't play it though. Ah, we whiff the energy again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why I get to play seven energy though. Dude. The energy whiffs this game have been brutal. Oh man, that's so that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. I don't think we can still lose. They have a we still might be able to win this. I'm trying to think, what can I do? Pass, I guess. There's, no more, there's nothing I can do but just pass and hope they don't have a knockout. Dang it, dude. That's two turns in a row where we need an energy and we whiffed. And it might literally lose us the game now. Oh my gosh. Uh, if only we didn't play seven energy, man. If only we didn't have seven. All we really need to do is like dead A change, but we've wasted so many quick balls because we had that open, awkward start. I mean, they're still down a lot of their resources. It still could be tough for them to knock me out here. Uh-oh, they got the energy attachment. They need a saucer and a switch to win the game. Let's see if they get it. Dude, I'm actually so nervous right now. They don't have it? Okay, we've got another chance to win the game. Let's go. Did any? No. Okay. Uh, we have to Marnie them. Not gonna, I'm not going to bother playing the Switch, right? Yeah, I'm not going to bother Switch. We're just going to go for the Marnie. <sighs> Woo! Dude, what a close game. Oh my gosh, dude. What a close game. Oh my gosh. That was so... That was so... Sick. That was insane. And I think he was playing a Pulsation deck too. Judging from the fact that he had no cards in the deck that were from the old format. Oh man, that was a really good game. That was a close match too. We got really lucky they didn't get the ADP altercation off in quick enough. That's, I think, what won us the game. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap up today's PDCGO video here, guys, on the Spirit Tomb deck. Uh, definitely a fun deck to play. Um, looking back at this list, I might end up cutting Jirachi. I'm not too I'm not too sure I like it. I mean, we were, we were using it in that second game there. It actually did save us a couple times in that ADP match, but... We didn't use it in the first game. I'm not too sure if I really want the Jirachis in the deck, but they did come in handy regardless. Uh, this is a pretty fun deck to play. Um, I don't know what else I would really change about it. Maybe take out the Nanu. Um, Nanu could get taken out of the deck. I don't even think you really need the Nanu. Like, it's ideally there so you can, like, take out Dedenne or Crobat or something like that. Or, well, take out Dedenne and turn it into, like, a Rowlet. I don't think you need the Nanu, though. I think we definitely cut the Nanu. Probably play, like, a third boss. An eight energy would be pretty good, honestly, just so we don't whiff as much. Um, 
maybe play like a fourth great ball or something i don't know there's definitely some changes this deck could maybe have made to it other than that i think my list played pretty well i might maybe want to play a scoop up net or two actually so we can free up some bench space um, but yeah, that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Spirit Tomb Spike Melt deck. Really cool archetype. Might keep Spirit Tomb somewhat relevant in the new format. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like on the video if you did, if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to uh, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road reaching 10,000 subscribers. Check out the sponsor card coming down below. Use code LDF. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.